Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to our next session of Reading Locke's Second Treatise of Government. Uh, last uh, uh, time we met, we read, looked over Chapter 9, about the ends of political society and government. Today we're looking at the forms of a commonwealth. That's Chapter 10. This is a small chapter. This is the, uh, I think this is the, no, this is the second smallest. Uh, uh, um, oh, this may be the smallest. Act. Ten is uh, the uh, this, uh, 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 the smallest chapter of of them all. Uh, I think there is what uh, uh, there's one that's smaller. Sorry, no, you know, there's two ten and uh, 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 chapter ten and chapter seventeen has two uh, 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 things and. Um, uh, uh, a, a tie, 17 and 2 a tie, um, uh, uh, which is, this is the, um, the, the it's, it's, uh, regarding uh, two par two sections each, um, regarding the size, um, um, is there anything else? That, just making sure, two, yeah, the, those are two, it, whereas the, um, um, uh, uh, Chapter one and chapter th four are uh, sharing three, so that's a little more. So therefore, the twelfth and this is the thirteenth. Uh, 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 in other words, this is the third. This is this is uh, uh, the thirteenth from the, the larger. So this the the first of the smallest, and it shares two uh, versions of it. Um, so therefore, okay, this is interesting in that sense. Um, um, uh, it shares uh, uh, thus with. Uh, um, yeah, I think that is um, what is seventeen. I think that is seventeen is uh, uh, unconquered. 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 No usurpation. Sorry, incorrect usurpation. Um. So um. That's a very uh, you know, okay, some size from the point of view. So this is going to be a short one. Mm -hmm. Compared to the other ones, we have long, long, long sessions. This is going to be a short session. Um, the forms of commonwealth. Um, uh, what, what is understood by forms is the, the, the varieties or the shapes of the, you know, the form that it takes. Okay, so the, the um, and for I'm, I'll give you a moment to. I mean. What's important is that from Aristotle's point of view, we're talking about Aristotle and the, and the, the pre-modern conception, uh, the, 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 f the form of the political community would be the, uh, 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 the in the Greek, the politeia, which means the constitution or government or the regime, right? The, for, the variety of the forms, the, the types of constitutions, right? The types of, this is what the classical understanding would be in that sense. Uh, form is the uh, one of the f four causes, uh, uh, Aristotle's four causes, the material uh, cause, the matter, the thing, the uh, um, uh, the final cause, which is the end of the thing, the purpose, uh, uh, the uh, pudding cause or the efficient cause, which is what was the thing that what was what came before it immediately, and then last the formal cause, which is its form or shape or you know the, the matter, the, the form it takes. Um, and that for that classical world, the form was always the con tied with the concept of, uh, uh, of the constitution or the political thing. So now, uh, uh, Locke now is going to be asking on the forms of the Commonwealth. So let's now look at uh, 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 this, uh, this two section text. Sure. The majority having, as had been shrewd, uh, 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 upon men's first uniting into society, the whole power of the community naturally in them may employ all that power in making the laws for their community from time to time and executing, ex ex executing those laws by officers f uh, of their own appointing, then the form of government is perfect democracy. Or may else be put the power of making laws into hands of a few men and their heirs of successors, then it is oligarchy. Or else the uh, uh, hands of one man, and then it's monarchy. And if it's to him and his heirs, it is hereditary monarchy. If to him 
only for life, but upon death, the power only in nominating a successor in return uh, to return to them is elective monarchy. So therefore, this is the he, he, he gives a typology of regime. Therefore, if the, 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 the in other words, the people in their collective thing create political society. Now, if everything is de de being decided by this, uh, uh, all the citizens, all the members of the community, this is democracy, right? This is like, they. Uh, um, this is perfect democracy. In other words, if uh, in other words, they will uh, uh, all in the power of making laws for time, uh, a community time, a time. Um, uh, 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 and, and, and executing those laws by officers of their own appointing, right? This government is perfect democracy, right? But then, when instead of that, they make instead they create they put the government in the hands of a few people uh, who will uh, hold that office, uh, um, uh, a few uh, a few men, and their heirs and successors. Then this is oligarchy, right? He's silent about aristocracy. Notice this. He's silent. It, it, uh, and then he's also, you know, he, then he next he has monarchy, right? Uh, if it hands of one man's monarchy, and there's two types of monarchy. One, if it's if it goes to the heirs of the monarch, this is hereditary monarchy. If it doesn't go, if it only stays with that person until the end, and then uh, it reverts to people to pick a new one, then that is a, um, uh, a elective monarchy, right? This is the this is the kind. And so, according to, uh, uh, of these, the con community may. Make uh, notice this community and society, community and society, synonymous terms in law. May make compounded and mixed forms of government as they think good. So therefore, you can uh, therefore these pure forms, and then there's mixed forms. Okay, um, you cannot, uh, um, but you can mix them. Now the mix here is that okay, you take you take the structure of government, and then. You, one will be done by the, uh, and here there's two functions of government. Remember, we have three powers in English so far, his, his constitution that he will talk about, and we'll talk about it next. That is the legislative, the executive, and the federal term. Now, this is a weird thing. It usually means foreign policy and things like this. Um, the, um, but, okay, the federal term. This is not federalism, okay? The federal term in Locke isn't what we would say in American, American politics and what becomes federalism. Federative means something different. We'll talk about that. Um, and they can mix them even the government as they see as they think good. And if the legislative power be, uh, be at first given to the majority, to one or more persons only for their lives or any limited time, and then the supreme power revert to them again, when it is so reverted, the community may dispose of it again anew into what hands they please. And so constitute a new form of government. For uh, uh, the form of government depends upon the placing the supreme power, which is the which is the legislative. It being impossible to conceive of an inferior power should prescribe to the superior. But any but the supreme uh, uh, any but the supreme makes law, according as the power of law is placed. Such is the form of the Commonwealth. So, therefore, the legislative power is that which makes laws. Okay, and this is the supreme power. He argues, in other words, this is the supreme power. And this, and wherever the government, in other words, you want to say, wherever this is placed, the legislative power is placed. This is the seat of power. This is the seat of government. Okay, um, one, uh, uh, section one thirty three. But Commonwealth, I must be understood uh, as a, a law uh, uh, to mean not a democracy. So this, in other words or any form of government, but an independent community, um, uh, which in the Latins, Latin signifies by the word civitas, to which uh, the word which best answers in our language is commonwealth, um, and most uh, properly ex uh, uh, expresses such a society of men, which community or city in English does not, for there may be subordinate communities in a government and, uh, and cities amongst us have a quite different notion uh, uh, from Commonwealth. And therefore, to avoid ambiguity, I crave to leave, uh, uh, to use the word Commonwealth in that sense, which in which I find it was used by King James the first. And I take it to be, uh, 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 I take it to be its genuine signification, which if anybody dislikes, I content him change it for better. Um, 
Now, um, James the first, James the first uh, 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 gives a very important speech about the, you know, this idea of commonwealth um, um, about justifying his legitimacy, and he calls it commonwealth, the common wheel. Uh, um, the commonwealth here now is the, the equivalent of Latin for civitas. Now, um, Hobbes, Tribune Hobbes, and today I'm going to be doing a seminar with people. Um, I do a seminar every Saturday. Oh, this is Saturday. It's not Saturday when you see this. Sorry, sorry, so definitely it's Saturday when I'm recording it. Um, uh, we do it um, uh, this, for the next couple of months. I'll be doing a seminar with people, um, uh, um, not from the online community, but uh, or people here, but uh, uh, a seminar, a private seminar uh, 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 for academics in, in, the, in mostly United States and Canada. Um, we're doing Leviathan right now. We've been doing this for a couple of years now, at least since, uh, ever since COVID, right? Um, I'm going to look at Hobbes here for a second in his favorite, in, uh, the introduction to Hobbes. And I'm going to put my glasses on. I, maybe, I should, maybe I should put it up here. No, I don't. Okay, let me do that. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can do it. Okay, here, I, I, I just did it. This is uh, a copy from the Oxford edition of Leviathan uh, by Hobbes. This is an introduction. I only want to point to this. He goes, um, in other words, he says, uh, Hobbes says what? Um, um, in other words, uh, this is that famous beginning point for, you know, he talks about the nature of uh, nature, you know, um, the art by which God has made the world and governs the world, and by the art man as a, 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 as in many other things is so in this also in, in imitated that it can make an artificial animal for seeing life is but the motion of limbs the beginning thereof is some principal part we may uh, we why may we not say that all automaton uh, uh, automata uh, engines that move themselves by springs and wheels just as a watch have an artificial life for what is the heart but a spring? What is the nerves but so but a many springs and the joints so but so many wheels giving motions to the whole body, such as was intended by the uh, the artificer, God, right? The art uh, goes uh, yet further, imitating the rational and even most excellent works of man, uh, nature. In other words, the uh, uh, work of nature, man. For uh, uh, by art is created that great Leviathan. Uh, the great Leviathan. This is um, uh, uh, called a commonwealth, a, or state, or in Latin civitas, which is but uh, a artificial man. Okay. In other words, uh, even Hobbes doesn't call it the city. Okay. This is that the commonwealth, the civitas, was the city, and the Latins have two understanding of cities, and that that is the city tied with. So therefore, this is you know this is that Hobbes and Locke kind of agree that the, the state or the commonwealth. Or the or Latin civitas. Uh, so let me stop here and I'll go back to where I was. There. Um, so again, relatively simple, straightforward. The, uh, he goes that he cannot call it civitas. He doesn't. He, he says there's no other better word for it, right? It's the, yeah. He doesn't want to call it city. The Greeks called it city. The polis. The polis. The, the Latin word civitas would be the Greek polis. The polis is often translated as city, right? And they'll say, oh, city-state. No, because the polis was not a state. The state was a state. The term concept state, as we understand it, is something that's coined by Machiavelli because that's the word status. In other words, the word status in Latin never referred to the political body. It's only the condition of something. Machiavelli uh, in Italian looks at status, stato, which is the Italian from status, um, which he uses to refer to the body politic, right? As the emanation or the thing that emanates from the will of the ruler, the rule of the prince or the rule of the ruler in, uh, in being a republic. And therefore, the, this idea of, uh, this is the new form of the political, which is replacing the civitas. Where the civitas was this natural community, the civitas was the political form of a given specific community, the embodiment of a koranoia, okay? In the Greek, in Latin, it's communitas. In fact, the, the, the civitas is a 
um, in Latin, the polis, if polis is civitas, the Greek, the polis is the, um, is a, 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 the perfect, no, the, it's perfect or uh, most complete community. It's the complete community, right? The complete carnoia. And the Latin would be, uh, the, uh, uh, the civitas is the perfectus communitas, the perfect community, perfectus. Means it's achieved the state of what every community is. This is the perfect. The civitas is the perfected version of it. Um, the Latin word society is not at all used in the, as for a political term. This a political community. Uh, societies are private relationships among people. Society. These are business contracts or relations between different communitas or, or, or different tribes and people and communitas. Remember, the communitas is a the perfect form is the civitas or the the city. Or, understood as the city, or it also is the family, and then it also, which is a smaller construction, but then the extended family is usually tribal, right? So therefore tribal or people, or nation, the origins of nation out of tribes, and then this idea of city civic order. So therefore the national is the kind of the, uh, uh, of the ethnoi or ethnic construction of this uh, 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 based upon the, uh, the inheritance of families and uh, 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 and you know, that first try uh, the larger uh, the trial then becomes a larger people that, that becomes and that the Greek argues Aristotle argues in his politics that the um, the nations or tri tri tribes are sub political and, and that and so so are uh, are are the nations because why they don't they 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 they, 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 they don't they, they they're not viably politically for Aristotle. Only the communitas uh, uh, um, or this cononoia, this perfect uh, framed within the civitas or polis, is viable as a uh, thing. It's only when modern world through this modern construction that Hobbes talked about earlier of the artificial thing, and that this artificial thing is the social contract, right? But for Hobbes, see, this is the thing: society is as much a contract as the state is. And that the state and society, in other words, the social construct uh, uh, contract that which creates the political community also creates the society as well. So society and state are Siamese twins, out of uh, from the social contract. In other words, the society and and this is this is very interesting because if you understood the language of what society meant, it meant literally this this uh, uh, contractual that that this relationship because it was found in societas, which was this uh, uh, kind of contractual voluntary thing. So therefore, in many ways, the social contract of uh, both Hobbes and Locke being this rational constructed voluntary contract um, is the same, uh, um, finds its origins in the Latin concept of society. But the Roman concept, the Latin concept of society has no equal in Greek. I mean, it's not the same as community. It's not the same as communitas in Latin. Um, and that, therefore, the, the, uh, for the Greek and Latin, the, these things are not synonymous. In fact, the closest thing you get in Greek to the idea of societas is the word for uh, 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 alliances, uh, the Greek word for alliances, which is, is which is never, and there's never, alliances never make a real, true political community. They, they're hegemonic, but they're not political. Um, uh, uh, they tend to, uh, uh, in other words, they are. They tend to be kind of ruled like a master. The relationships of hegemonic structures tend to be mastery, not political, in a sense. Um, so therefore, that there is no trans-political. And for then, therefore, the Greek, the idea of a cosmopolis would be unlikely. And the desire for a cosmopolis, a city, a, 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 in other words, a cosmos, the whole, to be to to uh, become a polis. Um, um, is kind of an odd Alexandrian. This is something that Alexander in his conquest of everything um, uh, 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 makes possible. And therefore, even the Romans then, therefore, uh, what Alexander desires, Rome actually kind of semi pulls off because you have in Rome and its empire. So therefore, that's the difference here. This is in Locke's uses of, Locke seems to hear, always treat society and communities interchangeable. 
he doesn't use it consistently. He uses these terms kind of like interchangeably in a sense. And I think this is done purposefully because he wants to have us forget about this breach that he's engaged, that he, Hobbes, not only Hobbes, but then Machiavelli engaged in with this conception of the state being an alternative to Civitas. Rather, what he's doing now is this new state or this commonwealth. Now, he, you know, what's interesting is that he is silent about the state. He will mention the state of things. He uses state in the older word, uh, but he is never explicit about it, as Mark, uh, as Hobbes is, is in the introduction. Hobbes also is not that expressive. Of it. He, he too prefers the word commonwealth. And I think this is follow, I think this is because uh, both of them are trying to stay within the framework of the English context that James the first establishes in his famous speech on the subject. So here I'm going to end. Uh, I think this is where a good because it's a very short chapter. Um, again, if you like, put your any questions or comments, please put it below. Any questions? I will, and when I see them, I will answer them. If you liked it, like like it. If you don't like it, you can say that. And say why. If you want to say why in the things comments, please do so. Uh, share with a friend. Uh, uh, share share on social your social media or your you know mechanism or email to a friend. Um, subscribe. If you want more? Subscribe or ask encourage others to subscribe. Um, if you wish to, um, uh, uh, as I said, wish to. Uh, 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 follow me on social media. You can follow me by the links below. And if you uh, wish to s help or uh, contribute to anything to this, you can do it through, through the subscribe star or or uh, uh, Patreon. Or as I said, always I've been saying lately, you can always also, uh, also try to help me. You can buy my other books, but if you buy this is uh, my recent book is something I'm doing. I did through Lulu, and therefore it's mostly me going to be get the money for it. Um, uh, um, you can order it through Amazon, but that um, uh, I don't make as money much money through Amazon that I would make from Lulu. So, but I understand why people would pick Amazon because Amazon gives you free delivery, where Lulu makes you pay for it. So, but it's my book. It's my commentary. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a notebook for Aristotle's politics, as I talked to, mentioned before in other meetings. Um, and, and, it, and it is a video link, and the, uh, uh, there's a uh, video link, but there's a video about this uh, earlier. Okay, uh, that's it. I'll see you next chapter, chapter next chapter, which we do chapter 11, which if we look here, we can just get a preeminent on the extent of letter. We'll talk about letters set up, all right? So have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.